Okay, hello there, I'm Dennis. And in this video, we're going to look at an Android telephone. If you have an Android, you're in luck because this process is very easy and you'll be able to transfer files to and from the telephone using this package right here, Android File Transfer. Now, you can get, get that in a couple of different ways, actually three different ways that I know of. You can sudo pkg install and then android file transfer i like that r when i missed it there transfer and it's already installed so i won't do that and you could i like the if you need or want a graphical way to do this then you're going to want the Android File Transfer QT5. So let me close out of that, bring up Octo Package, and we'll do a search for Android. And you can see the green here indicates that they are installed. And I have the Android File Transfer and the QT5, which is the, let's see if it will tell us about it here. Yep, Android client with minimalistic UI user interface so i've already downloaded it i've got it installed and i got my android phone ready to plug in now if you don't have your android phone plugged in this system won't work <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and plug it in could hear it this did i may have to give it permissions But I don't think so. It is connected. Okay, as a media device, I'm good. Okay. So, you can go to your menu and you'll find Android File Transfer MTP and open it that way. Or you can go to the command line and open it up from there. So, let's do, let's open up terminal let's do it this way now like i said either way works go to your start menu type in android and you'll see this pop up so you can click on that and be done with it or you can open the terminal and type in sudo android android hyphen file hyphen transfer okay and you do this as root and here's my phone i actually like this program a lot it's easier to navigate than some of the other ones I've used. Here's all the files and folders or folders in my phone. So let's just go to pictures from Samsung. That one says fishing. Let's open it up. But download control plus D. So let's again, let's put this in. Home. Then let's put it in my documents. Let's choose. And just like that, it's over with. So let me go back over here to my doc documents, and there's the picture. Eleni Snapper. <laughs> nice. And that's pretty much all you need to know about Android. Let's see, you could actually go back to the very beginning, where all of them are. And let's say Upload. Let's go find the documents. Click on the Laney Snapper and let's import it, and we should see it right there. <laughs> so it works back and forth. I'm going to delete that. Bring that back up. Well, let's do it the menu way this time. I've already got it loaded in my favorites, but like I said, just type in Android or go through your applications and find it. And there we go again. And it did not delete that. For that, I'm not sure why. It should have. Sure, it did. <laughs> okay. Like I said, you need two programs. Actually, you only need one. If you just want a com complete com command line, you just need the Android file transfer. Also. If you want a user interface like I've, I've got showing here, you're going to want to use the transfer to hyphen QT5. It was under sound there. 
forward. Let me close out of that real quick. I'm going to bring up Aqua Package one more time. We go to the search function. And I cheat. I use Aqua Package all the time for searching out packages and seeing what they do. And as you can see in my search here, Android, these two that are highlighted in green or the folders there of green indicates that it's installed. Now, these are the only two that I needed to work my iPhone. If something happens and you may need them, something else, you can come here and left click on one and say info and it'll show you what it does. So this particular one, Tools ABD, is Android Debug Bridge Command. And same way it goes with all of these. So if you find yourself wanting something extra or needing something extra, I don't know what all these do, but I know they're all of affiliated or they all of them are for Android. <laughs> See standalone binary Android manifest XML decoder. If you need something like that, it's available. And to be honest, I've tried to hook my iPhone up and I've hit block wall after block wall after block wall. I've got a entire page dedicated to trying to get my iPhone to work. And from what I can figure out, it's just not going to. I'm not saying it won't, I'm just saying I hadn't found that that method. <laughs> Even the, the research that I do says basically says good luck. <laughs> so anyway, that's going to complete this video. If you've got an Android phone, you're only going to need one or two packages. The Android file transfer is just the command line. If you get the QT5 package, then you, it'll give you that graphical interface. Uh oh, yep, I still got it plugged in. So that's pretty nice. I really, I like this tool. If this tool was available for iPhone, it'd, it'd help out a lot of people. <laughs> All right, well, so thank you very much for watching. Y'all have a good day. Enjoy your Androids. They're better than iPhones. Bye. I'm sorry. Peace out. Bye.